All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. Yo, is that an AK 74U I'm holding? Where's the red dot sight, Thunder? That's right, fellas. I created a class. Finally. It took a whole entire month, but I finally grinded all the way to level 38. And I unlocked Ninja, and I have now created a class. I got the AK 74U. And I will drop the attachments of the AK-74U that I'm using down in the description. You guys can check it out. And uh, I really do enjoy the AK-74U kitted out my way without the red dot sight on it. And I am also using the Howard 77 Shoddy Cheese. And uh, yeah, trying to level up this bad boy. But just with the basic attachments I got on it right now, fellas, it's still putting it work, man. I can tell I'm really going to enjoy the shotguns in this game. And now that I have created a class... I am definitely enjoying this game much more, and I could already feel I'm getting way better at it, as you guys will see in this gameplay. Anyway, yeah, my aim was really, really bad right there. I already know that. My, my aim, I, I don't know. I just couldn't aim at the guy. Sometimes I can aim at people. Sometimes I can't. You're going to see the people I'm playing against in this lobby, though. I swear to God, a few of them have aimbot. Uh, I mean, perfect headshot right there. Nice shot by that dude with the stoner. <laughs> You're going to see a few of these guys, bro, laser beam me. Anyway, fellas, as you can see, uh, ooh, who's in first place there? I can't even see the name. All I see is Lucky Mamba Forever. Yeah, guys, I changed my Activision ID to two dots and a line. Basically, the smiley face symbol. Uh, the reason I did that is because in these lobbies, a little tip and trick here, people. Subscribe for more. Subscribe for more tips and tricks. In these lobbies, in case you haven't noticed yet, your character blends into the environment quite a bit. The colors are really washed, the the characters blend in like super, super good. Most people that are looking for you are looking for your gamer tag above your head. So if you change your gamer tag to something like a dot or a symbol or, you know, anything like really small, um, it's going to be hard for people to spot you. It's kind of like a poor man's cold blooded. So you can give yourself a, a poor man's cold blooded. Just by changing your Activision ID to like a dot or something similar to what I have right there. As you can see, it's way easier to spot uh, Lucky Mamba Forever than my little two dots up there uh, when you're looking under the minimap. Uh, anyway, little tip and trick from me to you people. I mean, I'm trying to stay alive out here, man. I'm trying to do whatever I can <laughs> to stay alive in these sweaty lobbies, bro. I'm not out here reverse boosting. Well, not yet anyway. We'll see. When I get the PS5 for Christmas... It's going to be tempting, fellas. Uh, it's going to be real tempting to make that second account, man. <laughs> but you guys will know. It'll be obvious. I'll be in a lobby that looks something like this. Like my homie Feral Tex. He told me straight up, yo, dude, I'm reverse boosting. The dude dropped an 87 kill TDM by session joining his second uh, reverse, <laughs> reverse boosted lobby searching account. I'm telling you, bro. People are doing this. People been doing this for years. Uh, they're sick of skill-based matchmaking, and they're tired of sweating, playing in free professional COD tournaments every game. I mean, you know, a, a, a nice, tight, competitive match is fun every once in a while, but every game, dude, it gets tedious, it gets boring, it just makes the game not fun. So, people are going to do what they're going to do to have fun out here, and like I said in the last video, I don't see any way Activision stopping you from joining Session on your own account. It's pretty much impossible, and as long as skill-based matchmaking is in the game, people are going to do this. Anyway, fellas, let's move over to the meat and potatoes. It looks like an old fan favorite map from Black Ops 2 will be coming to Black Ops Cold War in Season 1. And it's a map that honestly is huge. It's something that Treyarch absolutely has to do. And hopefully this leak is legit. Again, not confirmed by Activision, not confirmed by Treyarch. A bunch of people looked in the files and they found Raid from Black Ops 2. Bro, Raid in this map, I mean Raid in this game, would be absolutely fantastic. There's one thing Black Ops Cold War is desperately lacking, and that is good 6v6 maps. There are very few good 6v6 maps in this game. I mean, you drop Raid in here and it's easily the best map in the game by far. It's not even close. Uh, now, I know Treyarch has brought Raid back before as a DLC map, but that's the problem, dude. It was a DLC map. It never really came up in the playlist rotation. Now that the pass is free to everybody, every map they add will always show up in the rotation, which is great. So Raid definitely needs to be added. Treyarch, I hope the leaks and rumors are true, man. Just throw Raid in this game. And listen, fellas, let's be honest. Call of Duty, they can't make good maps anymore. I mean, the maps are just decent. 
they don't make iconic maps anymore. I mean, when's the last time we had an iconic map, a new map in a Treyarch game? I mean, maybe Combine from Black Ops 3? I mean, if you could even call that map an iconic map. I don't even think Combine is in the same league as like Standoff or, or Raid or is a firing range. But they just keep bringing back all the old maps over and over again because they can't make good new maps. I don't know why. Yeah, look at this dude aimbot the living hell out of me, man. That, you can always tell when I'm playing a PC player, man. No console player aims like that. I guarantee that was a PC gamer. And a lot of people tell me to turn off crossplay. Listen, man, when I turn off crossplay, it takes me 10 minutes to find a lobby. When I have crossplay on, it maybe takes me like two or three minutes. But I have to turn crossplay on because I can't find a lobby. <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh, turn off crossplay, Thunder. I wish I could. Yeah, watch this throw right here. Kobe. Oh, six points, son, like uh, Pat Mahomes to Tyree Kill last Sunday. Oh, by the way, man, I shouldn't even talk about that, fellas. The wounds are still fresh, man. Tyree Kill ended my fantasy football season last week, and I got off to a good start, too, man. Thursday night, I had Will Fuller. Oh, Will Fuller drugs. <laughs> Will Fuller. And uh, he, got, he got me off to a hot start. I thought I was going to get an easy win uh, from his performance on Thanksgiving, but then Tyree Kill... Yeah, Tyreek Hill just, uh, <laughs> he pub stomped the hell out of me, man. He ended my season. Damn you, Tyreek Hill. Good stuff, though, man. Shout out to all the Tyreek Hill owners out there. I know you are loving that, uh, 60-something point performance, man. Incredible. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so I need to keep crossplay on. Maybe after Christmas, I will, I'll be able to turn crossplay off. I'll be able to find lobbies easier. Because once Christmas hits, like, millions of people are probably going to get this game for Christmas. And that's when the lobbies are going to get a lot better also, which is also good. <laughs> because these lobbies, as you know, have been pretty damn saturated, man. Like I said, man, I turned my house into an aquarium, bro. I'm sweating so hard in these lobbies. And I just end this dude... <laughs> Ended his career with the shotgun cheese. He probably didn't see me because I changed my name to the dots right there. But hey, like I said, fellas, I'll take any advantage I could get, man. It ain't cheating. Activision didn't say you couldn't change your name to a couple of dots. Yeah, your Activision ID. So it is what it is, man. If I'm harder to see, then I'm harder to kill. <laughs> it, just, it just makes sense. Anyway, fellas, I'm really enjoying this game a lot more now that I can actually create a class. <laughs> this game is much more enjoyable. And when the Christmas noobs drop, maybe I'll see a few of them. We'll see. And when Raid drops, oh, man, it's going to be this game's going to get a lot better, fellas. Hopes are high. They really are. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.